because working your abs doesn't mean just laying on your back. So the next way we're going to challenge your abdominals is we're going to get into a plank position. Now, if you have wrist issues, you can always fold your mat um, over or under to elevate your hand and wrist a little bit, but I'm going to show you a great setup to help take pressure out of the wrist and out of your neck. So you want to make sure that when you're coming into a plank or a push-up position, that your palms are spread nice and wide, and that you have just as much weight under your thumb as you do a little finger. I want you to think of a triangle. So your hands make up the base of your triangle, I want your eyes at the top of your triangle. Except of course if you're watching for directions first. <laughs> Okay, so you're going into a high plank position, walking those heels away. And if you need to stay in high plank and that's enough of a challenge for you today, just stay there. If you need to take a break, bring your knees down to the floor. Otherwise, follow along. Here we go. So we're in plank. We're going to start with the right leg first. In and crossing is one. In and cross two. In and cross three. Trying to keep the body still. Exhale. And four. And in. Third five, working that knee inward. Six, in, seven, in, eight, in, nine, and in, and ten. Now, if you need a break, come back and push yourself back into a shell stretch, stretching that whole back and your abdominals out. Coming into the other side, we're going to repeat the same sequence on the left leg. Palms are flat again, shoulders are back and down. You always want to feel like you're pushing the floor away from you to lift your body up. We call it push to rise. Legs are going back, and let's do 10 on the left. So coming up, and cross for one. Up, and two, and up, and three, and up, and four. You're breathing up, and five, up, and six, up, and seven, up, and eight, and nine, one more, up, and ten, and shift back again. So, if that's as much of a challenge as your body can handle, repeat that sequence one more time. You want a little bit more? Follow me to the next round. Here we go. Again, setting yourself up again with your palms flat on the floor, and your eyes at the top of the triangle. Shoulders are back and down, and your abdominals are nice and tight. Coming back into your plank, we're alternating this time. So whatever you do on one side, we're going to do on the other side. Pressing back. So the right knee. One, and cross, and two, and cross, and three, and cross, four, and cross, and five, and cross, and six, and cross, and seven, and cross, and eight, and cross, and nine, and cross, and ten. Now hold, so you're gonna lift one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now hold that lift, squeezing in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And bring it down. So I said, whatever we do on one side, we have to repeat it on the other. So we're starting with that crossover knee position. If that's all you can do, stay there. If not, Add the rest on. Here we go. Shoulders are back and down. Press it back. Knee goes up again. In and one. In and two. In and three. In and four. In and five. In and six. In and seven. In and eight. In and nine. One more. In. And ten, now lift it, one, two, hips level, three, shoulders down, four, breathing, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and take it up and in, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and bring it down. I don't know about you, but my heart rate's going up. <laughs> All right, the last piece we're going to do right here. So, like I said, your abdominals need to be hit from all different angles. Now we're going from a high plank to a side plank. So when you're rotating, be careful of your wrist and your shoulder placement. Again, if you need to stay in a plank and you want to try something different, go to a low plank. So your forearms are flat, palms are flat, your eyes will be between your fingers, and you'll stretch back. So if you need to stay in another plank variation, this is a great one for an option. 
Otherwise, we're going from a high plank to a side plank. So, coming back into your plank, walk it back. You're in high plank. I want you to rotate your feet first, stacking your top leg in front, squeezing those thighs together, and take that top arm up to the sky. Now from here, reach the arm over your head, and exhale, pull back for five. And exhale, four. Really stabilize those obliques. Three, shoulders are back and down, pushing the floor away with your bottom arm. Two, give me one here, and one. Come back to high plank. Let's go to the other side. Rotate, opening up. Take that top leg, bring it in front if you need to, and bring that arm over your head, and down for one. Push to rise on that side. Two, and three, and four. Nice lift. Five, tailbone is down. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more time, and ten, coming back to your high plank and bring the knees all the way down. Go ahead and stretch back. All right, let's take it to quadruped. On those hands and knees, let's stretch these abs out with a cat cow. Go ahead and round your back all the way up and exhale to let it go for four. Inhale, exhale for three. Inhale. Exhale for two, and inhale. Exhale for one, nice job guys. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely warmer. My abs definitely feel like they've worked. So the challenge is, go ahead and do each one of these moves 10 times. If you complete the entire sequence and it's a piece of cake, try it again. Do it two more times, three more times. But we wanna hear from you, so try it out. and Let us know what you think, leave a comment below. I'll see you again soon, have a great day, bye.